Er earlier today, I had one of my clients reach out to me. They were having some problems with the scoring in their Adobe Captivate project. So I told them I would have a look. Uh, one of the things about troubleshooting scoring in Adobe Captivate that I currently recommend is to become familiar with the uh, this function here. In your project drop-down menu, you're looking for advanced interaction. You can select it there, or alternatively, you can press uh, F9. And this is going to bring up this window here. And of course, it'll probably show up like this at first. It'll be a little bit smaller on your screen. But uh, fortunately, it's one of those windows that you can resize. I like to make it nice and large so I can see uh, everything that's uh, on there. And let's just take a look, see what the uh, what the issue is. Now, there's a bunch of potentially scorable project uh, items, like in this case, here's some practice questions. Uh, you know, zero points being assigned there, and I think that's probably our quiz. Now, the problem they were experiencing was that people were getting uh, either they were getting 100% correct, uh, but still only scoring 97 points, such and such percent uh, accurate. Uh, the other issue was that C, uh, scores were wildly all over the, the place here. So right off the bat, like this is great because you can see it in a list like this. You can see right away that uh, this first question of the final quiz is set up to be worth 20 points while all the remaining quiz questions are worth one point. Now there are occasions where you know certainly due to the weighting of learning objectives that you might set up a question to be worth more points because of its importance. But I would say that generally speaking uh, this is probably not going to be the case for this type of course. Uh, so in this case here I'm going to want to go to the quiz panel and scroll down or scroll up depending on where you are and make sure that the points are in line with the rest of your project. So let's bring that advanced interaction window back in. So there we have our, our items here at the bottom, our quiz um, items. Each one's now worth one point. But I noticed as we started off at the top here, there were a couple of things that, that kind of jumped out at me. The first was this item here, and if I click on it, and one of the great benefits of the advanced interaction window is if I click on anything here, it will instantly jump to that slide and highlight the item in question. So let's move this out of the way again. So what it's highlighted here uh, is the back button on slide number five. Now, since most people typically click the next button only, um, there's a very good possibility they're not going to click this back button. And of course, the fact is, is that it's been assigned a point value of five. Turns out that this was erroneous. It wasn't supposed to be that way. So I'm simply going to uncheck include in quiz because it's not supposed to be a part of the quiz. So now let's take a look at our advanced interaction window. This makes a lot more sense. We have 10 questions at the end. There's a couple of knowledge checks. There's no score for those. And if you look here at the top, we have a total of 10 points. So use the advanced interaction when you need to troubleshoot scoring problems in Adobe Captivate 2017. If you thought this video was useful, please share it with your colleagues. If you need help with your next e-learning project, consider hiring me. My focus is to create effective e-learning that helps you achieve your business goals. Visit my website at paulwilsonlearning.com, follow me on Twitter at paulwilsonld, and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel.